What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a moving part on Roblox. It's a randomly moving part, so what you want to do is you're going to insert a script and a body velocity. Alright, it's like that. And we're going to rename this body velocity to AI. No, not rename it. Rename it to AI move like that. Alright, so we want it to move randomly. And so what you're going to do, you're going to do um, local target, no, yeah, local target equals script dot parent dot parent dot AI. No, script dot parent dot AI move. Actually, not target, not no local. We can just do uh, move, move randomly. Plus, and then we're gonna do while true do, and then we're gonna do uh, local. No, no, why did I keep saying local? All right, then we're gonna do uh, move randomly, and then we're gonna do choose move equals uh, <coughs> equals math dot random one to four like that. So then we're gonna do put a weight five here, all right? And then you're gonna do you can change that to any number how long you want it to walk. So it would change any direction randomly. So you could basically make a randomly moving car. So what I'm gonna do here <clears throat> is I'm gonna do uh, target blah blah blah. You can, you can change that to anything you want. So no, what what am I talking about? All right, so you can change whatever you want. So I'm gonna go in here and. I'm gonna do if choose move equals equals one, then um, then we're gonna do move randomly dot velocity equals vector three dot new, uh, and then you're gonna do uh, two. Zero, zero, right there, and then you. So this is what direction it will go, like the x, y, and z axis. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do else if choose move equals equals two, then uh, right there, and then we're gonna copy that line and paste it down, but instead here put a negative, and now you're gonna do else if choose move equals equals three then and then we're gonna do uh, copy that line we're gonna do like that and then you can uh, go here and then type in a two and then you're gonna do else if choose no then you can just type in else and um, move randomly and that one you're just gonna paste in um, negative two like that, really simple, right? So now let's check out if it works. We can see it should um, move randomly now. So let's check it out. And you can do this with anything. You can do it with a mop. Just make sure that it's welded and you have the main part. It's gonna move. You see right here? Oh wait. Oh yeah. One thing that I've got to tell you guys is you gotta go in to AI move. And you gotta go in here. Put the velocity to zero, zero, zero. And then what you gotta do is you gotta put the max force to end, comma end, comma end like that. That should do the trick. See right there. There we go. It's moving. It's right here. Um, now in five seconds it will probably change the direction. Yeah, so it's gonna go back and it's gonna change direction. See now it's changing to this direction. So it will basically move randomly. That's interesting. See, so you can actually track it to see that what way it's going. So what I'm gonna do here now, it's gonna insert a trail, and let's. I'm gonna add an attachment, a few attachments. Um, attachment. One, so we can actually follow it. So let's. You know, I'm gonna go in here in lifetime. Hundred. So all right, twenty then. I'm gonna go in here. Attachment zero is gonna be that. 
attachment one like that. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember how you use the trails. Okay, I can't remember that apparently. So, yeah. Anyways, so that's how you do it. As you see right here, it will move a random track. Anyways, you can change it faster if you want. Change these numbers. Um, change how long you want it to go forward or that way you want to go it. Change this number. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.